This slide gives an overview of the process to design a columns. It basically starts with the friend analysis, which we have discussed this in the chapter 1 of this course. The looks acting on the columns can be obtained from the moment distribution methods of the frame or the lateral root analysis where necessary and the principle or superpositions applies the loops calculated from these two methods may be superpositions depending on the situations from the analysis of the friend you will obtain the moment acting on the columns as well as the Asia force acting on the columns this represents the typical moment diagram of the columns for each columns that you need to design there will be two moments M1 and M2 the Asia loads acting on the columns is determined from the loads from the upper stories let's say now you have done the frame analysis and you have obtained the moment and the Asia loads acting on the columns you will need to classify the columns whether it is a short columns or a slender columns this is done by checking for this slenderness limits the checking of the slenderness limit has also been discussed in the previous videos which you need to determine the slenderness ratio based on the effective length divided by the radius of gyrations the radius of gyrations is given by this formula while the effective length can be determined from three methods based on the general definitions or based on the equations given or referring to BS8110 table 3.19 and 3.20 the slenderness ratio is checked against the slenderness limits depending on the moments acting on the columns you are able to determine the RM with that you are able to determine the slenderness limit with the assumption A equals to 0.7 B equals to 1.1 for more conservative calculations you may assume the C equals to 0.7 1.17 2.7 depending on the conditions outlined here this will be the slenderness limits in accordance to each conditions this is meant for the unbraced conditions while these two are meant for the braced conditions depending on the column bending forces you may choose the relevant slenderness limit for the braced structure from the checking of the slenderness limit you will be able to determine whether it is a short column or a slender columns if you find the columns is slender you will need to pay attention on the building structures whether it is braced or unbraced the descriptions for the braced and unbraced structures has already been discussed in our previous video as well classifying the columns of short slender brace column and slender unbraced columns is important because the formulas used to determine the ultimate moments acting on the columns are different this should be discussed details in the following videos let's say now you have obtained the med of the columns you will substitute the value in the formula here this formula is exactly the same as in the x-axis of the design chart and from the NED that you obtain from the frame analysis substitute the NED into this formula here which is actually the y-axis of the design chart from the design chart here find the intersections of the both line 
and determine the ASFYK per BHFCK. With the FYK, BH and FCK norm, you will be able to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required in the columns. The applications of the design chart has also been described in the previous videos. You may refer to the videos for further information. What you see here from the slide here, to design a column, you need to refer to the design chart. As this is the simplest calculation step that you can use to design for a column. In order to use that, you need to determine the Asia look and the moment. In fact, the Asia looks and the moments can be obtained from different analysis, either by moment distribution method or by using the look analysis of the lateral look. Where conditions is applicable, superpositions of the result may be required. However, based on the moments that you obtain from the loot, you are unable to use the moment directly for the design. There are some other considerations which is governed by the classifications of the columns. These considerations need to be taken into account to prevent the risk of under-designing the columns. For the classifications, you need to determine the slenderness ratio and also determine whether it is braced or unbraced.